Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Krishna Dupai. In the earlier video, I have solved the ISI MSQMS 2016 paper. So please check that out. In this video, we are going to solve the first nine problems of the CMI MSC Data Science 2019 paper. So let's begin. So question number one. X is a set containing n points x1, x2, dot dot xn and y is a set containing two points y1, y2. The number of surjective functions from x to y equals. Now we can see that here in the set x there are total n points and here are two points. So the first point can map to either y1 or y2. So x1 has two choice. Similarly, x2 has two choice. So similarly, xn has two choice. So total number of functions, total number of functions from x to y is then 2 to the power n. Now, for surjective function, we have to exclude two functions where all the points of x is mapping to y1 and the other function is all the points of x are mapping to the point x2. So we have to exclude these two points. So total number of surjective functions from x to y is 2 to the power n minus. So the correct option is option C. Question number 2. Probability of A union B is given 0.7. Probability of A union B complement is given 0.9. We have to find probability of A is what? If we draw this Venn diagram of these two sets A and B, from the first equation we get probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B is 0 0.7. From the second equation, you can write probability of A plus probability of B complement minus probability of A intersection B complement is 0 0.9. You can write this from here probability of A plus 1 minus probability of B because probability of B complement is 1 minus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B complement is equal to 0 0.9 so it is coming probability of a minus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b complement it is 0 0.9 minus 1 so minus 0 0.1 now if we add these two equations 1 and 2 then we will get 2 probability of a minus probability of a intersection b plus probability of a intersection b complement is equal to 0 0.6 now if you look at this Venn diagram, you can see that A intersection B is this area and A intersection B complement is the area this one. So this area A intersection B and this area A intersection B complement are mutually exclusive. So we can and these two areas are making A. So we can write A equal to A intersection A intersection B union a intersection B complement where these two sets are mutually exclusive. So probability of A is equal to probability of A intersection B plus probability of A intersection B complement. So we are getting that 2 probability of A minus this is probability of A is equal to 0 0.6. So probability of A is equal to 0 0.6. So this is the answer. Question number 3. We have to state that which of the following statements are true for all n cross n matrices A and B. A transpose transpose equal to A. Yes, this is true. Determinant of A transpose equal to determinant of A. Yes, this is also true. A B whole transpose equal to A transpose B transpose. This is not true because a B whole transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. So this is not true. And the fourth option is A plus B whole transpose equal to A transpose plus B transpose. This is also true. So option A, B, D are correct option. Question number four. A, B, C matrices are given here. We have to find which of the following statements are true. So for the matrix A and B, you can see that the matrix B is equal to 5 times A. So a determinant of A equal to determinant of B, this is false. Now determinant of B is equal to 5 cube. 5 cube because the dimension of this matrix is 3 points into determinant of A. So it is 125 in the determinant of A. So option B is correct. You can see the matrix C is actually 3 into A transpose. So determinant of C is equal to 3 cube 
into determinant of a transpose as determinant of a is equal to determinant of a transpose so we can see that determinant of c is equal to 27 determinant of a so option c is also correct and option d is false so correct options are b and c question number five two polynomials px and qx are given we have to find the set of common divisors of px and qx so px is 5x square plus 6x plus 1 into x plus 1 into 2x plus 3 so you can factorize this term 5x plus 1 into x plus 1 and there is also x plus 1 so it is x plus 1 whole square into 2x plus 3 for qx 5x square minus 9x minus 2 into 2x square plus 5x plus 3 just factorize it you get 5x square minus 10x plus x minus 2 into 2x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 3 you will get 5x plus 1 into x minus 2 2x plus 3 into x plus 1 so the set of common divisors of p and q is 2x plus 3 x plus 1 and 5x plus 1 which is option a question number 6 r is the set of real numbers and a is given x belongs to r such that x not equal to 3 for x belongs to a fx is given 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 3 and b is the range of f then we have to find b and f inverse if it exists now we can check if f is injective or not so suppose x and y are two points belongs to a and suppose fx equal to f1 then we are checking that if x equal to y or not so here we are getting 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 3 and here 2y plus 1 divided by y minus 3 then if you multiply diagonally then you get 2xy plus y minus 6x minus 3 is equal to 2xy plus x minus 6y minus 3 2xy is getting cancelled uh, cancelled out 3 is getting cancelled out so we are getting 7x equal to 7y which is x equal to y so from here we can see that f is injective so f inverse x exists suppose there exist y belongs to b such that fx equal to y where x belongs to a then y is equal to fx fx is 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 3 so we are getting 2x plus 1 equal to xy minus 3y take the x part one side they will get x into y minus 2 equal to 3y plus 1 so x equal to 3y plus 1 divided by y minus 2 so this is the form of f inverse x so f inverse x equal to 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 and the range set b is equal to x belongs to r but x not equal to 2 so the correct option given here is option b question number seven we need to choose a team of 11 from a pool of 15 players and also select a captain the number of different ways this can be done is so from 15 player we can choose 11 player by 15 c 11 ways into among these 11 players one will be captain so it will be into 11 c1 it is 11 into 15 11 so the correct option is option b if you just express this 15 c11 in the terms like 15 into 14 like 15 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 11 factorial then you will get terms which is not equal to any of these two options so the only correct option is option b question number eight consider the following venn diagram the universal set u is the set of all natural numbers from 1 to 1000 the sets a b c contain integers in u that are multiples of 6, 7 and 8 respectively. The number of elements in the shaded region. The shaded region includes the integers which are multiple of 7 and multiple of 8 but they are not a multiple of 6. So if I express this shaded region in the form of sets then it is actually b intersection c minus a intersection b intersection c so actually this shaded region is representing this expression so first 
we'll check how many elements are in the region b intersection c so b contains the multiples of 7 and c contains the multiples of 8 so the region B intersection C contains the multiple of 7 into 8, 56. So total integers are from 1 to 1000. So if you just divide 1000 by 56, you will get 70. You will get there are 17 integers. Now we have to find number of elements in the region A intersection B intersection C. So in that region, the multiples are of 6, 7 and 8. The LCM of 6, 7, 8 is 168. So if you divide 1000 with 168, you will get 5. So in the shaded region, the number of elements are 17 minus 5 equal to 12. So correct option is option A. Question number 9. There is a code fragment below. Start and end are integer values and prime is a function that returns true if x is a prime number and false otherwise. The loop is starting from the start integer and it is going up to the integer end. If prime m equal to true, then i is incremented by 1 and they are in this place, there should be a statement which we have to choose from these four options. And else j is decremented by 1 and there will be one step. So we wish to maintain the invariant k equal to i minus j after each iteration of the for loop. So suppose from start to end, I am taking that total there are n integers and suppose among them x are prime and n minus x are non-prime. So after all the steps, after the loop is finished, the i value will be x because there are x primes and for each x, for each of these primes, i is incremented by 1. After all the iterations, i value will be x and the j value will be minus of n minus x. Similarly, j is decremented by the non-prime integers and there are total n minus x number of non-prime. So j will be minus n minus x. Now we have to maintain the invariant k equal to i minus j so after all the iteration k should be x minus 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 plus it will be n minus x so this should be n the k value after the whole for loop the k value will be n so for the last point we are decrementing k value by 1 in each of the step either it is prime or not prime so then the k value will be minus n for option c the k value in the part one that will be k value will be k minus one so for this one for the first statement k will be decremented by one so for the first place k will be minus x and thus for the same statement k will be incremented by one so it will be n minus x and this sum will be n minus 2x so this is also not true for option b in the first part k value is incremented by 1 so it will be x plus in the statement 2 k value is decremented by 1 so it will be minus n minus x so this will be 2x minus n so this is also not true and for option A, the k value is incremented for the first term and also incremented for the second part. So it will be x plus n minus x, it will be n. So this is correct. So the correct option is A. The statement 1 will be k equal to k plus 1 and 22 will be k equal to k plus. So I have completed the first 9 problems of CMIMC 2019 paper. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. Please press the like button if you liked it. Share with your friends and subscribe this channel. See you in the next one. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.